Hey, what's going on motorcycling friends? So I've taken some longer rides on my Harley Iron 883 lately, enough to know that I'm gonna need a little bit more comfort while riding along Route 66 later this summer. So I've decided that changing out my foot pegs is a must. So today, we're gonna be installing the Kiriak and Heavy Industry Switchblade foot pegs. So I'll install these first, then I'll get into why I chose them, and then we'll actually get on the bike and I'll ride and give you my first thoughts about them. Let's get started. I got the switchblades installed. Now, why did I get the switchblades? Well, you can just tell the size difference from the stock pegs with the switchblades. The size is about double, so that alone, it's gonna add a great deal of comfort. Comfort's the main reason. And I really like the option of the switchblade where I could have the main foot peg of the switchblade and then pull out the switchblade for added comfort, for added stability while I ride. If I'm in a long ride, supposedly I can just stick my toe out, pull this out, use this for a little extra added support. I mean, maybe my heel will go there and maybe most of my foot will go there and then hit the brake. I'm not quite sure yet, I haven't ridden with them yet, but it looks like it's gonna add a great deal more comfort for my longer rides. So, other reasons. The looks are just, they just match with this bike. This knurled black top here, I think looks really good and would add a little extra anti-slippage. And then it has this rubber here, it's called EDPM, is that right? What is it? It's uh, EPDM. What does EPDM stand for? Ethylene, propylene, dienene, mono, you get the idea. Basically, Kiriakin says this rubber here is for Harleys to dampen vibrations. That's what I'm going for. The rubber on stock, eh, not so much. I think it was just a place to rest my foot rather than dampen vibrations. Maybe it did a little bit. I don't know, I'll compare it to the EDPM of the rubber for the Kiriak and Switchblades. It looks great. It looks like it's gonna add comfort. Let's go out and ride and see. So anytime you put something new on your bike, obviously it's gonna feel a little different. So, my biggest concern is getting used to it right away. But already, my legs and feet are a little higher, but it feels more comfortable. So yeah, shifting feels a little different. 
That's gonna take some getting used to. But right now it feels pretty comfortable. My main concern is I'm going down the super slab and I'm feeling like unleashing the blade. How easy am I gonna be able to do that with my toes? So I guess down some of these side roads in my neighborhood is as good a place as any to test that out. Dang, I'll say, I, I put about 2,000 miles now on the settlement step up. Holy crap, do I love this scene. More than ever, even more so than when I did my full review about a month ago. Man, it's a good scene. So yeah, putting my feet down and shifting and hitting the brake, all that stuff. I gotta get used to that because, you know, you're used to where the foot pegs are and the brakes are and, sh and the shift lever is. Just kind of reset yourself. I was bumping my feet back there at the stop sign, putting my feet down. I gotta move my feet out a little bit further from the bike. Now the hard part with the switchblades too will be remembering which way that they slide out. Yeah, that'll take some getting used to. That brakes in a, feels like it's in a different position because my feet are higher. It's actually in the same position. My feet are just in a different position. But, just like when I changed the stock handlebars, saying just like when I changed out the stock handlebars for these Bitwell chumps it took a little bit of getting used to but already I could tell the difference in vibrations that alone is worth the purchase so yeah Getting the blades out, a little bit difficult with my toes. Maybe it's a skill I'll acquire. Yeah, definitely gotta put my feet a little bit further so as to not hit my legs and feet on the foot pegs because the other ones were so much smaller. Yeah, I'm finding it really difficult to pull the switchblades out with my feet. I don't know, maybe some guys who have the Kyriak and switchblades, maybe you can give some tips. Right now I'm finding it a little bit difficult. So yeah, I guess that's how you do it. Instead of your toes, like the side of your foot, just pull it down. That should work. Let's give that a try. That feels a little better already. I kind of like that. Balance is so much different. Because my feet are in a different place. Just something to get used to. Just my first thought, I think mainly how I use it. I'll keep the blades in while I'm riding around in the city. And I'll also keep them in when I need to use my feet for balance and for steering. But I'll probably pop them out when I'm on long straight rides. That's how I see myself using them. This is after, you know, seven miles of riding on them. We'll see them. So that's my installation and first thoughts on the Kiryakin switchblade foot pegs. If you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Helps out the channel an awful lot. If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Got a lot of great content coming up. Mainly why I'm doing this video is because of the Route 66 trip, so go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you're interested at all in following along when I do take that trip this September. And click that bell icon so you know when I upload videos just like this. As always, stay safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.